In this final day of the tutorial series, I get set to clear out the last few resource piles and to prepare to reach Winterhome. So without further ado, let's get started. What is up farmhands, Fat Beats here, welcome back to the Beef Farm and to my day 7 tutorial for the first scenario of Frostpunk, a new home. We've reached day 7 and are setting up the city for long term success. A few things to do today. 1. Set up to clear the remaining free resource piles. 2. Take care of the children. And 3. Improve our resource gathering capabilities. If you're just dropping in on this tutorial, feel free to go back to the beginning by clicking on the link in the right hand corner. Once we get some more wood gathered, we can access the second steelworks and get it up and running. As usual, let's set our heat and work hours for it. For our next law, let's get child shelters so that we can have a permanent boost to either medical or research. Hear me, hear me! We'll build two shelters to accommodate all the children currently in the city. Now that we've completed our medical post research, let's focus on improving our generator. We still have coal just lying around, so we can delay the coal mining research just a bit longer. That being said though, we do need to clear out the remaining coal, so let's build another gathering post. Now that we have regenerator research completed, let's unlock the next tier to gain access to even better tech. No more steel. Let's tear down the gathering post and reassign them to the other one. By the way, if you are enjoying this series, don't forget to give a like to this video. We've taken care of the children. The second tier is unlocked. Let's start improving our food gathering capabilities. Resources that we gathered from the frozen wasteland have arrived. They'll be a great help to building the resource gathering infrastructure. Let's send the scouting team back to the farthest known location before dispatching them to Winterhome. In the meantime, let's build another sawmill to facilitate faster wood gathering. We also want to start adding in resource depots to our storage district. We want to start building out the road networks so that we can fill in the rest of the housing for the scenario. At this point, mapping out the rest of the housing district on one side will do. I'm going with medical apprentices since we need all the help we can get from the children to keep illness down as it gets colder throughout the scenario. At this point, we've set up a strong foundation for gathering all the resources we need and are well on our way towards completing the scenario. Alright, and that's the end of our tutorial series. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Fat Beats, signing out.